Well, hello everyone. Oh my goodness. I'm here in Jen's, uh, well, train off, basically. <laughs> She's done an amazing job with this. But uh, I just wanted to say, we're back. Trying to do daily vlogs again. I'm not going to guarantee it. In the past we've tried to guarantee it and it didn't kind of work out. But let's get on. Jen, my goodness. This is all amazing. It looks fantastic. Thank you. You've done such a good job. I love the uh, decorations on the wall as well. You say it's too busy, but I like the busyness. It looks good. So yeah, majorly impressed. So today, my main job is to finish off the articles that I promised this guy for the uh, Retro Computing Magazine. I've done the Amstrad one, but the other one that I'm doing is a Texas Instruments one. Now this is a bit different for me because I've uh, not programmed a Texas Instruments since I was about 14, so it's quite a while. I'm going to try and do a Choose Your Own Adventure style game, the same way that I did on the Amstrad CPC, but with the Texas Instruments as basic, it's not fully uh, feature-packed. Um, if you if you know 8-bit uh, and uh, early 16-bit home computers like the TI-99, the basic on most of them isn't complete. It's uh, large, it's substantial, but it's not complete. Amstrad's is complete, which means that I know a few uh, tricks that will work on certain computers, and the TI is one of them. So, we're going to have an interesting day where I try to do this, but the Texas Instruments has a very nice um, basic and a very nice keyboard, so it's a pleasure to try and program on, but it might mean I have to learn a few more techniques. So I'm going to get on with that now. Now, the biggest issue that we've got with the Texas Instruments programming is it's a little different to the Amstrad in terms of I can't string commands together on a line, so everything has to be very long, the chord is very long and drawn out, it has uh, very limited uh, capabilities in terms of what I can do with input commands and it slows down on read commands. It's it's one of the earlier implementations of BASIC in a home computer, so it's a little different, but it's still a lot of fun to program with. It's definitely a learning curve because I was never as uh, au fait with the Texas Instruments as I was with the Amstrad CPC, but it's a lot of fun. And I'm, I think I've almost got it now, so the article's coming together really nicely, and we'll see how we go. So, Jen is currently moving stuff all over the place, so uh, we're about to head out. This is actually uh, the day after what I was filming earlier, because I didn't get to finish the Texas Instruments uh, article. I've got like 90% of it, but I want to just uh, move things around and readjust and edit, make sure that it's right. But uh, that ran out of time because I also had the live stream last night which completely wiped me out. I was amazed at how quickly the amount of heat in that room just built up and built up. So I ended up just calling it a quit. So today I've got to finish that off and uh, help Jen out. She's got a project over at Hatton's, haven't you Jen? Yeah, we're going to be filming over at Hatton's Model Railways in Wick. So we're off to do that and then we'll see what happens after because she's got a live stream tonight and I've also got to get the comics done. So it's going to be a very, very busy day. But I did have an interesting uh, announcement last night, something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So here's a clip from last night's uh, live stream. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of messages, uh, people popping up on Twitter because earlier on today I mentioned that I've always wanted to do stand-up comedy. And... Uh, a few years ago, I wrote uh, material for doing stand-up, and I never did it. And the reason I didn't do it is because I was nervous over doing it. But over the years, I've uh, done these live streams, I've uh, got out of my shell an awful lot more, and decided that uh, I would announce, because if you if you tell the world that you're going to do something, it's harder to back out, announce that I'm going to find an open mic night sometime this year, and give it a try. So I'm getting an awful lot of people that are... <laughs> are encouraging me, like, go for it, follow your dreams, and uh, things like that. So, yeah, there you are. I'm going to try it at some point this year. I'm not saying right now. I'm going to actually work on some material and make sure that I'm all right for it first, and then do it. There you are. It's going to be very interesting, isn't it? I think, yeah, it's going to be something uh, that'll be fun, probably terrifying, but fun nevertheless. Anyway, let's get on. 
Hi there everyone. We're doing something a little bit different here today. So I thought I'd come out to Hatton's over in Widnes and have a little chat with them. So what's this? I've been given a present. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, other presents. Oh, the Penguin Classics book. Oh. Oh, I love books. They know you so well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it gives all the all the covers. Oh, because I collect I collect them in that binding, that one there. Um, I think they were from sort of like the nineteen eighties through to early two thousand. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can. Usually, really, it's not much of a screw. We can have a little, little bit as well. Yeah. Really. I mean, like we were just discussing before, that's pretty good. All I need is that I have this tremendous habit of going off at a tangent. So, yeah. A good sort of tag there, I think, is modelers and modelling. Yeah. Really, you know, and that's that's probably yeah. a good, you People know, you can sort of say you've got your layouts on the way and that sort of thing, you yeah. know. So. Well, I think the film's gone very well. I've just dumped all of our equipment in the car and now I've got a prize Jenny out of patterns because uh, she went into the shop while I was uh, putting everything away and that of course means she'll be wanting to have a browse and possibly a spend of a lot of money so we better go and get her. Which ones do you use and here we see the lesser spotted Your Jenny Kirk eye. in her natural habitat <laughs> browsing for new Lots trains. Yeah. You had a good day? I have actually, yeah, I always love a trip out to have it. It's just five minutes alone. Well, I finally prized her away <laughs> from her homeland, the mothership and the train shop. And we've had a good day, I think we've had a good day, don't you, Jack? Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. We've got some good first footage uh, done. I picked up a few goodies. And it's just really good to chat with uh, other people in the hobby as well. Yeah, she's had a good day. So, we're heading back home now. I've actually gone up and sat in the car for the last 10, 15 minutes while she was doing her stuff, uh, writing some uh, work, some material for a comedy routine. I think it's, it needs tweaking, but I'm happy with the basic gist of it. So, uh, let's uh, hope that I can uh, twist that into something that's worth uh, putting on stage. Anyway, I've got to go home now because I've got today's comics to do. So, let's go. So, back from the uh, long drive back from Hatton's, we're going to get on now. We've got today's comics to draw, and then we'll see how we go from there. But uh, let's have a look at the comics.
And as you can see, it's the next day now. I've got most of a script done for the third of the six scripts for the new series. <laughs> Everything seems to be going well. I've also got my material written for my first stand-up routine, so that's good. It's not perfect. I'm going to have to have another read through it, uh, rewrite, uh, and then that after that it becomes the you have to read it out, uh, make sure you've got the right amount of material, refine it from there, what works when you're speaking it rather than when you're writing it and what doesn't, things like that. So it's still a lot of work to do, but I'm looking forward to actually being able to perform it pretty soon, I would hope, because... I like to do it. When I get my mind on something, I go for it. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today, so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.